Okay, I am doing a video update on Linux today. This is not Linux, this is Haldora. These three horses are all best buddies. Coincidentally, they all came from the same kill pen, but at different dates. Um, Haldora, we've had the longest. We've had her a year and a half, I believe. She is a standard bred, um, blind in her right eye. Um, all kinds of issues with her. Caridwen is supposed to be a Frisian Morgan cross. I see a lot more Morgan than I do Frisian. Caridwen and Linux are so attached at the hip that I cannot separate them. If I put Linux in a stall, I have to make sure that Caridwen is right next to her and even then they get panicky. So they often, they eat from the same hay pal. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just, I don't know why I'm talking about it. It's just interesting that three of these horses came from the same kill buyer. Um, let's see. All right, so today they got rained on a tiny bit. I am keeping her out now. Her walking is absolutely imperative. But I noticed something today that I didn't like, and I'm going to videotape what I do. She walked up really, really slowly. And... Honestly, I think she's just overfed. <laughs> We're feeding her so much that she's no longer like excited about getting her grain, right? But my first thoughts when I see a horse walking really slow that's on a high grain diet is laminitis. So I check their feet, no warmth. I am not gonna pick up this hoof because I'm not gonna make her put the weight on that hoof, but that's the first thing that I check for. Um, you feel all around here, and then for those of y'all that know how to check for the distal pulse, I can't even feel it, but if you're ever worried that a horse might have an abscess or something to that effect, then that's the, you go to see if that, that pulse is bounding, it's not, however, I'm willing to bet that this one, easy girl, I'm on this side of her, which you can't kick me. My husband has told me that he does not want me doing this stuff when uh, he's not around because I did break some ribs. So not, definitely doesn't make him controlling, but I can just barely feel her pulse here. Anyways, she is not foundering. She's obviously not colicking. I just saw her poop twice. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm not gonna give her butte. I think she's just uncomfortable. Um, her body is telling her not to walk on that, that hoof. Excuse my sniffing. I, uh, when the weather gets cold, I'm just like a walking sinus infection to begin with. That's why I sound stuffy some days, but it gets so bad. So she's doing really good. I'm just keeping an eye out for founder is definitely a risk with the amount that I'm feeding her, but we've got to get the weight on her. So 